Hey, Craig, good to catch up with you again, and uh, uh, your team won on the weekend. Yeah, the uh, Warriors. Warriors got up for the first game of the season against yeah. the Knights, so uh, it's good to see, you know, starting the season off the right way, yeah. and um, awesome to be down in Wellington. I've got family down there, my two brothers, and um, me and my dad flew down to um, see them and then take everyone to the game, so yeah, just a good way to, um, you know, um, pretty much reiterate what we've been doing in the season. So the, you, you saw that in the game, you saw the resilience, you know, on the on the back of their um, their own try line, just defending for pretty much the most of the second half. And then um, just the toughness, staying in the fight, stuff that translates not just in wrestling, but into anything, you just gotta stay in it. Even though pressure's on you, um, you just gotta keep keep battling, keep um, pushing, keep, keep showing up for each other. And uh, you saw that for the Warriors and then, uh, ended up winning 2012. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of the techniques that we have been doing in training that you're sh um, seeing that in the weekend, and they were showcasing, um, yeah, great display of staying tight when they're on the ground, as well as um, yeah, initial tackles, head heads where it needs to be, um, getting up efficiently, getting up quickly, slowing the ball down, all these things that we've been working on the last what four months in preseason. So, it's cool did, did they give you feedback? Yeah, yeah definitely. They said, yeah. you know. A lot of the stuff we've been doing with you and John have um, definitely paying off. And um, I chatted to the boys on Monday after the game. Uh, we had our, um, our next session just at Mount Smart. Um, and we just pretty much told the boys, keep the standards high, you know, first game out the way. Let's just keep working towards the next, keep it simple. And um, yeah, it's just cool being in that space as a coach, um, adding value and um, just, just um, seeing how we can help in any way. So we've got the Roosters this weekend in Sydney, so um, they're away. Uh, but yeah, we'll be watching and um, writing down our notes and making sure that we're progressing and um, working on things that we need to and highlighting things that we're doing well. So yeah, it's cool. Cool, and there's um, more good news too because yep. you've just been something's just been announced. Yep. So I've got a fight booked June third. I'm fighting um, Amir Albazi. So he's number six or seven in the world um, for flyweight. So tough opponent. He's five and zero in the UFC. So on um, a bit of a win streak. Um, level of competition he's been fighting is, you know, um, high level, um, but, you know, it's something that I haven't fought already. So he's a wrestler, you know, quite um, aggressive and um, coming in with momentum. So we're here to kind of stop that. So I'm in uh, a good position being number third in the world. So guys want to fight me, take my spot. Um, but, you know, it's been a whole year since I've fought now. So more than ready to get back in there. I've done fight week in Madison Square Garden in New York for Izzy's fight. I've done fight week in um, Perth for Alex Volkanovski's fight. And um, just being on fight week, not having the pressure of fighting, kind of taking a backseat role where you just enjoying the city as well as kind of doing the ride along where you're going through the mixed emotions of fight week and then um, just seeing it all unfold on, on the night. So it's been cool being able to do that um, while I've been, I guess, recovering from this injury. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just still staying in it, you know, still um, involved in some way, if not physically, um, still kind of there supporting and then just mentally taking in, you know, visualizing what I'd be doing, you know, getting that excitement and um, so many things that um, you need to be doing, you know, uh, building up for, for the next fight. So definitely took a lot of inspiration for um, being in Perth, you know, seeing the fans, seeing how excited they were, seeing the, the roar, the crowd, you know, it's, it's so um, amazing how people get so invested, you know, and just yeah. to have that hometown advantage, it means everything. So I was gutted I wasn't on that card, but um, just, just awesome to be there and see it three years since you've seen being back on uh, New Zealand or Australia. So it was, a, yeah, it wasn't the best outcome. You know, I thought Alex had done enough, but regardless of the outcome, just the atmosphere uh, made up for the whole, the whole trip. So yeah, just using all that kind of momentum into my camp now. So um, just pretty much covering all the whole, um, all the aspects of our game, you know, working with huge, you know, Tristan, um, Andre, Mike, Doug, um, and yeah, just pretty much keeping my head down kind of thing. So like I said before, I've missed this. I've missed that feeling of the grind. I've missed being sore, not from an injury, but from, from just training hard. And uh, yeah, just more, to, more than ready to get back in there. So obviously it's been over a year since I've last competed, um, but it's been for a good reason, you know, resetting, um, and pick it up, picking up where we left off, and that means fighting the best guys in the world. And um, you know, one or two more fights, and I'll be looking at another title shot. So I'm not in a rush. I don't want to force these things. 
you know, I want to fight the best guys, beat them, show my um, skill level, and uh, show why I should be, you know, uh, fighting for the title and why I'm championship material. So, yeah, exciting times. Um, but yeah, got a lot going on. <laughs> you have got a lot going on. I just go back there a little bit because I was talking to um, Carlos on and off camera. But, um, uh, you talk about the travelling and, and that uh, bit of the perk thing, you know, like it's, uh, you just don't take it for granted. You enjoy it while you go into new countries and things like that. Yeah, definitely. It's one of the um, upsides of being in the UFC, um, especially when they're coming back to, you know, your side of the world. They want you to be a part of it as a personality and get involved. So being a guest fighter, um, it was awesome. Um, me, Carlos, um, Robert Whitaker and tied to a all on the stage after the weigh-in and there was about 7,000 people just waiting at the weigh-ins just to hear us talk about, um, you know, whatever, just just being involved in that way. So it's just cool soaking up that kind of support and, you know, all these meeting greets that we we're going to, um, you know, it is draining because you're meeting so many people. It's it's a lot of energy, but you got to remember these people are excited. They haven't seen this for the last three years. so. You, you, you're constantly reminded so you like you just want to match their energy and give it back to them and let them feel you know that you appreciate their support and appreciate um, you know all the uh, love and, and um, you know energy that they're, they're giving to you so no, it was it was awesome to kind of be there and I had my family there with me we actually got stuck in Perth for an extra week because of the cyclone um, so not a bad place to get stuck you know great weather I got my family with me my son he turned two over there as well so um, yeah, it was, it was a cool um, little trip, but you know, no, no more times for holidays now. It's, it's time to just pretty much um, just build, build and, and um, get the body ready, uh, mentally refresh, mentally um, reset, and um, yeah, we, we just go again. So um, yeah, big week. Uh, the back injury was what kept you out, mm. and um, y you wanted to make it sure it's 100%. How was it? Yep, yeah, we were good now, um, just had to take time off, so a lot of things I try to work around, I'm trying to fast track, but you know, the best thing to do is do nothing and uh, just let it do its thing. And uh, it took about two months for me to kind of get out of that cycle where it was kind of flaring up if I was doing too much, so um, now you know, I can train fine and, and it's not flaring up in the morning after those big, big trainings, so it means that my body's um, you know, doing, doing what it needs to and um, yeah, we're in a good place. When you're like now, in certain situations, do you put 100% in or are you got to hold yourself back a little bit, you know, because you're so far out from the fight? Yeah, so now we're good to go for, with, um, I guess, with the load of, um, you know, the camp. Um, conditioning wise, we're still being smart, so about 12 weeks where um, we build, so four week blocks. So. After a four week, we kind of change it, keep the body guessing, um, change it into a different muscle, um, I guess, group that you're trying to work. And um, since it's been so long, usually camps are about eight weeks, but I, I wanted to put my best foot forward and I, I'm going to be doing a 12 week camp. So just being, um, you know, a lot more smarter, knowing that, you know, I've taken a bit of time off. So we want to make sure that we're coming in, in in our best version and best shape. So that was just a collective kind of input with all the coaches. So. Yeah, I, I, I'm more than ready to kind of do a 12-week camp and um, just slowly build every week, you know, we, we make it out of and, and um, we're building, um, we're getting stronger. So when it's fight week, we're, um, yeah, there's nothing that um, we could have done that um, that we could have improved on or done better. So um, that's where the confidence comes from. Thanks, mate. Awesome, brother. Brilliant. Well, I've got some um, other news as well. I've got oh, a, yeah. a big doco coming out. So yeah. I just quickly plug that, so TVNZ, yeah, yeah, it's called sure. Caged, um, they've been filming since pretty much my last fight, and um, it, it's cool because they showed the different layers to me as a person and my story, so um, obviously fighting is the surface level of who I am and what I do, uh, but you know, dives deeper into being, you know, a son, a brother, um, a husband and a father, and then um, how I juggle kind of all of that, and then being Māori, you know, going back to our marae down in Napier, um, you know, fight week in Dallas, as well as, you know, travelling to Tahiti, doing seminars over there, and just everything that kind of entails this journey that I'm on. So from, you know, being bullied in high school to being one of the best fighters in the world, it's, it's cool to kind of capture that and inspire, you know, the next generation of um, fighters coming out of New Zealand or wh wherever, whatever passionate 
passion you have, um, especially you know for me being Maori, um, Maori you know um, youth as well as Pacific Island, you know, letting them know that if you want to do this, it's all on you, and um, just got to chase it, just got to put in work constantly, and just keep turning up, and that's pretty much um, my story in a nutshell. Just keep turning up and just let it all all unfold. Can't wait to see it. When, when's it going to show? Uh, so March 23rd, it comes out on TVNZ on the app, so free to air. Um, six, there's going to be six episodes, and then, um, yeah, they're about 20, 15 to 20 minute long, and um, it's, just, it's perfect timing because it kind of lets everyone into, inside into my world, and then before you know it's fight week for me, so you get to see a chapter of my story, and then obviously the fight, my next fight will be the next chapter, the next kind of rise to my title fight. But you'll have even more uh, supporters. <laughs> uh, may get them on board and um, enjoy the ride. Cool. Awesome. Well, hey, cheers. Thank you. Brilliant. Oh, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, 